Hello guys and welcome to CCC. It is a free. That kind of rhymes a little bit. Not that letters like rhyme, but you know. Um, and those of you who are new, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We are trying to grow the CC fam here and we'd love to have you as a part of it. So today's video is going to be kind of relaxed and I've got my smoothie. It's got like strawberry, mango, and pineapple. Apple juice, almond milk, and ice. That's about it. I put some water in it too, actually. That's pretty good. I give it like a 6 out of 10. Um, it got kind of watered down. But it's a-okay. Today I'm going to be doing my nails, as y'all probably saw in the title and thumbnail. Um, and story time. So I've had this story, like a God story thing, God thing, you know, that I've wanted to share for a little while now, but I haven't really gotten around to making a video of it. So I decided while y'all watch me paint my nails, I will tell the story. And it's a good one. So make sure to keep watching. Um, I hope this story will just like encourage you guys and it encouraged me, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Let's just get right in. Oh, and this is not a sponsored video, but I want to show you what I'm using to do my nails. It is Beetle Gel Nails. Um... And it has, it's like a gel polish starter kit. It has all the stuff and it's amazing. So it's got the UV light thing that you stick your hand under. It's got the cord, of course. I'm gonna have to plug that in a second. Um, and then it also comes with all the things you will need to do your nails. It has the application guide, like instructions, frequently asked questions. Oh, instructions kit. I use that. I got this for Christmas from my sister Leah. Um, and it's probably the uh, the most most used gift, like. Oh, all year because I use it all the time because it makes my nails look so good and it's easy and it dries me to and it has a nail buffer and nail file and like the dust off brush this thing the toe separator thingies oh then it has like all the tools for your cuticles it has um, a cuticle trimmer, cuticle oil, and the thing to push back your cuticles. This is kind of just like a really quick overview of what all comes in here. If y'all want me to do like a whole video on this, I can, but it's not too exciting. And nail clippers. Um, so it has all the stuff you need. Oh, and it comes with, I forgot this part, a base coat gel that you have to use top gel that is shiny like gel looking and it also comes with a top coat that is a matte um both are so pretty and I think I'm gonna do this top gel today because that's just kind of the look I want to go for and finally it has a whole bunch of colors this whole thing is colors and I will leave a link for this down below. It was like $30 on Amazon. So it's got all these colors. So it's pretty spectacular. And I can't get it back in here. Um, and y'all should definitely check it out if you love doing your nails. Yeah. So let's just get on with it. Guys, so I decided to do a voiceover um, while I do my nails instead of creating a whole separate section of the video and sorry that is my siblings playing in the background 
but it's just a real quick story so it shouldn't take too long but it's really encouraging so I wanted to be sure that I shared it with you guys. So I wrote about it in my journal on March 16th which is kind of a while ago and I've been meaning to share this but um, it was just like a really be the busy season of my life and so um, writing it down just took a little bit of time. So it was, I wrote it about it a couple days afterwards, but I'm just going to briefly explain what happened and how God used it in my life and how incredible it was. So I had a literary analysis essay and I ended up getting a 64 on it and not to brag or anything, but I am typically a straight A student that is not at all what I would have expected and I was really really upset about it and so you know it was just a rough situation and so I talked to my mom about it and what we did is we got the we cop made a copy of the essay and I wrote down and got the rubric and I wrote down any questions that I had for my teacher of like why I got this grade on it what what I did wrong here and whatnot. So um, I was working on all that the day in between when I got the grade back and going back to school. It was just really stressful and overwhelming for me and I wasn't having it. I was getting all upset about the grade again and my mom was at home and I just broke down. I was having a complete breakdown in my room. I called my mom, I was like, I can't do this, I give up, whatever, this is the worst thing ever. And she, my mom is like always right when it comes to dealing with me and my crazy emotions. And she said, Avery, wash your face and or go take a walk around our cul de sac. And so I did, I listened to her because she's always right. And I got up, I washed my face, that always makes me feel better after I'm crying for a little while. And then I got some music and I played my calming Christian playlist. And I just walked and it was like, it's finally spring weather out when this was all starting or happening. So I was so excited that it was springtime and I put on my chacos for the first time that season and it was beautiful outside. So it was really refreshing to the soul to do that and it helped calm me down. But the craziest part about it, that really, it, God's um, comfort in that moment brought me to tears, you guys. Um, I was already crying, so I was like, you know, it was already coming, but I stopped crying, washed my face, you know, all that. And I hit shuffle on this playlist and it brings me to tears because the first song that plays is Only Jesus by Casting Crowns. And I may leave a link for that song in the description. Um, but it's just a song about how in the long run, it's only Jesus that matters. And so as I'm frustrated about these grades and I'm bringing it all, I'm turning it into something like colleges aren't gonna accept me especially if I want to go down a road in um, literature because that's something I've considered and I was getting all upset about this one grade and it doesn't matter first of all colleges aren't even gonna see that one grade second of all is my um, being upsetness upsetness um, glorifying to God, me tearing myself down, the beautiful creation that God made me to be, tearing myself down, is that making God happy? No. And what's our only purpose in life? To glorify God. So was I glorifying God through that situation? Um, no. And so when I played my music and that song came on, it just reminded me that, um, it just reminded me um, that only Jesus is what matters. That one grade doesn't matter at all. And I just need to focus back 
on Jesus. And then the next day, it was a Wednesday, I talked to my teacher, I discussed all my questions, and I, when I walked out of that classroom, I could not wipe the smile off my face. I was so happy and relieved and comforted from what happened from the day before during my walk. And then in that class, she walked through everything with me. She explained it in a way that I understood. And I felt assurance from my teacher that she was proud of me, no matter that grade. And I also, she told me she knew that I was going to come to her with questions because I wasn't going to be happy with that grade. She knew that and she met me where I was and helped me. Just like God does to us, he meets us where he is, he comforts us, and he helps us. He explains how to make things better through his work. So it was just a short, simple, quick story, but I really hope y'all enjoyed that. And yeah, um, just let me know in the comments down below any story that you want to share similar or um, if you liked this kind of video where I share a story. And yeah, but it was just an amazing way that God worked in my life, and I hope you all enjoyed hearing that and it encouraged you. So, have a great day, guys. Okay, that's really close up. Uh, okay, and yeah, no, it's not on my face. There we go. Okay, so I ended up doing purple, and I decided to do matte. My other hand is, like, still under the light, but I'm so bored, and I forgot to turn on music. So, I've just been, like, sitting here in silence while my nails are under the light and you'll probably see in like the clips back there that i'm like partying sometimes you know to my own little beat in my head but it was great um this is the finished product once this other hand finishes up i will show you that also all right so here are my nails the finished product completely dry this hand feels really warm because it's under the light yeah. Um, this is my nail. This is my like summer and spring scent from Bath and Body Works right now. Pretty as a peach. And I like to moisturize my hands after I do my nails. Just because uh, I don't really know why. It's just kind of fun. And it feels nice. Alright friends, so that is it. The camera is not straight. There we go. That is it for this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I know that was not one of my best videos and it was kind of just all over the place. And I'm super sorry about that. Like I filmed the story time part way after um, the nails part. My nails aren't even done anymore. Um, so it was just kind of crazy. And comment down below if you end up buying the gel nail kit that I will have in the description box as well as the Only Jesus song by Casting Crowns. So anyways, I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you guys next time. Go be a light for Jesus. Bye!